Welcome back. We shall begin with an introduction where we shall look at how Kenya is applying remote sensing and other observation techniques in tackling the food security issue in the country. Let us begin by looking at the importance of remote sensing in agriculture. And this we shall do by looking at the three cases which are applicable to the country. The first one is at the farm level where the farmers are advised on the best crop management practices on their, in the field. At the regional level, this helps with the logistical planning, which includes transportation and storage of the crops produced. At the country level, the government is able to make decisions as pertaining to the subsidies and the purchasing of the food that is produced. The study area is located on the west, in the western part of the country. This is the highly agricultural area where large-scale farming is, pro, is practiced. The study area is located in the western part of the country where large-scale farming is mainly practiced. The crop of preference is maize and that is what we shall be looking at in this presentation. Understanding the maize phenology is very crucial in the mapping process. Here, we shall use the universal BPCH scale to define the various stages of growth. The BPCH scale is divided into nine primary growth stages, which are later divided into several secondary stages defined by the number of days after germination. The first two primary stages are germination, which is the principal stage zero, and the leaf development, which is the principal stage one. The next two growth stages are the stem elongation, which is the principal stage three, and you have the heading, which is the principal stage five. We then have the flowering stage, which is the principal stage six, the fruit development, which is referred to as the principal stage seven, the ripening, which is the principal stage eight, and finally, the senescence, which is the principal stage nine. These principal stages are later divided into secondary growth stages, which are defined by the photos. For example, the first photo defines the secondary stage growth 11, whereas the last photo defines the principal growth stage 9-9. There are two main planting seasons in the country. The first one is a long rain and the second one is the short rain season. The long rain season runs all the way from March to September, whereas the short rain planting season runs from October to April. Going by the farm records collected, during the fieldwork, most of the farmers rely on the long rains for them to do their planting. This information is crucial, especially when you are collecting the remote sensing data, since you will know the window which to look at when collecting the images. For example, the window showing there defines the start of the season in March and the end of the season in October. Therefore, it means the images to be considered shall lie between March and September. One of the challenges affecting crop mapping using remote sensing is the presence of cloud cover. Cloud cover obscures some of the fields and therefore it is impossible to map all the maize fields in the land. A solution to this would be the use of the radar data which is not affected by cloud cover. The second challenge is the sketches that are used to map the fields. Some of the farms are still using the old maps to define the boundaries of their lands. These, however, from remote sensing, have been changing over time 
and therefore there's a need to improve and to update the boundaries that are existing in these maps. The research approach that is proposed will combine field data and radar data to give us the mapping results and the crop monitoring results. The proposed research approach shall combine both the field data and the radar data. From the field data, we shall extract both the reported field boundaries and the crop phenology. From the radar data, we shall extract the bulk scatter values. Using the reported field boundaries from the field data, combined with the estimated field boundaries from the radar, then we shall be able to get our mapping results. The zonal statistics shall be calculated from the extracted bulk scatter values before being compared to the phenology collected from the field data and these shall provide us with the crop monitoring data. So in summary, we've been able to highlight the importance of remote sensing in agriculture. We have also been able to outline the various maize phenological stages. Furthermore, we have been able to highlight the importance of understanding the maize cropping season. We have looked at the challenges affecting the crop monitoring process and mainly the cloud cover and the sketch maps that are in existence. And finally, we have been able to look at the research approach adopted. That marks the end of our introductory section. See you shortly in the user cases applications. Thank you.